Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm doing uh, some maintenance, but not on what you think. Let's go ahead and check this out. All right guys, so here is my problem. I had a RX 6700 XT AMD video card in my system, and the problem is, is the software that I was using for 3D scanning, along with Adobe Premiere and stuff, they use a technology called CUDA which requires a special type of processor, which is found in NVIDIA video cards. So I had to return my 6700 XT, and now I have a 3070, and I chose the 3070 partially because of its profile. I needed to be a double wide slot profile in order to fit in my case, and at the same time, I can't have it draw a huge amount of power, because remember, this poor little guy in here is only 700 watts. So I'm gonna undervolt this guy and I'm gonna put it in the case. Um, but, you know, when you buy things online, um, you never know what you're gonna get. And here is one of those cases where I bought this guy from um, somebody off of Facebook Marketplace. And, you know, I looked inside it. I should have checked it a little bit, a little bit harder. This guy here has a lot of buildup underneath the fans. So what you need to do is you have to go in between the fan blades, like right, let's see, right here. And there is a Phillips screw right there, see it? You can put it on, you can take it out, and then you can remove the fans. I just kind of flip them over and you can get underneath and clean off the excess on the fans because it's extra wear and tear and Possibly uh, the fans out of balance, which puts extra wear on the bearings, but also it allows you to get into the heat sink. So I already used contact cleaner and I sprayed away a lot of the uh, residue that was just sitting on there. And you can see some of it still sitting on the fan blades. But um, then I've got one of these type of brushes. Some of you guys might recognize that brush from someplace particular. And uh, just get in between the blades and scrub them out really good. And uh, it's nice to have this little brush too because there's some some areas you got to kind of reach underneath and scrub it out. But uh, yeah, this guy's going to get a deep clean and then I'm going to go ahead and hook it up and I'm going to test thermals. If the thermals aren't where I would like them to be, then I'm going to pull this air cooler off and put K5 Pro, which is a thermal compound in exchange for the... Um, the heat pads and whatever thermal compounds on the main heat sink. But overall, it's got good cooling, which I needed to have good cooling because, you know, that's that's a uh, very small case. So this is gonna be a good one. I just gotta do some cleanup and whatnot. I got it at a steel of a deal, but still, nonetheless, always inspect beneath your fans for debris. And a couple of these fans, it was completely occluded underneath them. Like it was jam packed. And if I would have noticed that, I would have told them to shove off. Because that means that this card was, you know, run hard and put away wet, <laughs> per se. But anyway, it's going to work. It's going to work fine. I just need to show it a little bit of love. And probably when I'm done giving it regular maintenance, it's going to work better than new anyway. So guys, that is video card maintenance. Unfortunately, I have to do it to get this guy up and going with an NVIDIA 3070. And uh, guys, it's going to work out. I swear. <laughs> Thanks for watching.